19 yes. and we got some family in the building y'all have seen probably a few times at this point i know we've done some things together but y'all have been on at least two episodes where we've had y'all in the studio one where it wasn't poor horsemen where we had just creatives oh yeah true that that was the dreamers yep the dreamers. and then y'all been on poor horsemen so please i did the live with y'all too Remember I did that live. so three live. times so we was rapping so shit. please nah, give people the live we, we was on here first time not, we, not me and bro studio, though. Nah. But yes, she was I did one in studio. That's when I first met her. You got to be on the mic though, too. You, oh my father, I did the go. first good, one in good. studio. That's where I met everybody. Then we did the joint at the loft. Yeah, that yeah. was next, and yeah. then Dreamers happened. And yeah. Dreamers was third. So, so please give your give yourself an introduction to the audience. Camera on you. Okay. You'll see there's a little dead space in the um. See, you know, we got someone who went Hollywood on us. You know what I'm saying? So he already know I'm calling him out. Go ahead, his ass up. No, I appreciate y'all having me back for real, for real. Yeah. Uh, I'm Frank Mill with Pretty Fly Society, creative director of Boutique Fashion Week. Uh, big fan of the platform. Watch, comment, you know what I mean? Active support of the Poor Horseman podcast. Thank y'all for having you, boy. Yeah, I heard Pre- that word. Appreciate sure. Active for sure. supporter. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Active is a huge word Active. before supporter because he actually engages with us. Mm-hmm. You know how people be talking with their hands and shit to try to <laughs> emphasize like, their point. Mm-hmm. Listen here, brother. So like F O I. No, we, we look. We we can start with that because Kanye. Uh, I mean, we can we can jump right in because did y'all see the latest Kanye yeah. video? Yeah. Where he said uh, Kanye said my they, mom was sacrificed. Mm-mm. Like he finally said it. We all been alluding to that. Something with his mom is making him go 100% crazy. And then who did he make the example to? Somebody else's p- parent? He, he said Michael Jordan. Jordan. He, yeah. said Jordan. Yeah. he used multiple people in Hollywood. Yeah. And then he said also, in Hollywood, people end up missing. Mm-hmm. What is Kanye on? Is he spilling the beans or is he just nuts? Hey, man. <laughs> he just saying all the shit that normal people say in comments. I've never heard normal people say that. I'm talking about like the <laughs> theories and shit. Like, the, yeah, it's conspiracy like, theories, though. Yeah, I'm just saying that's he's saying what people think in the real world. It kind of goes with what Chappelle's talking about in his monologue with Trump. Yeah. When he said that Trump, all Trump did was reveal what was going on in the House to the commoners. And then he went back in and played video and, games. Yeah. And so, I mean, I, do I believe that? I don't know. I don't. But that may be his truth. He's so far engaged with Hollywood and what goes on in that community that he probably thinks that's what happened to his mom. Hmm. And you can't you can't stop someone you can't stop think. someone yeah. from thinking their truth. Hmm. I mean, that's but a good point. but that's a good point. Kanye right now is trying to burn shit down. Guess like he so. he's in a position where he feel like I'm losing it all. I lost my family. I lost what they say, 1.2 billion in like an hour. Mm-hmm. So now, are we to believe someone when they say this, when they're doing it in the most vulnerable situation they ever been in? Because he could just be saying it to say it. But it's like, it's like, it, it's it's a flip of the coin because to those that, that do believe him, they like, yeah, why would he be lying about this now? When he's losing everything, but then on the other side, you like, well, he's just saying all this stuff now because he's desperate and because he's losing all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's no, there's, there's not gonna be like just a clear thought of which side to believe because it's kind of like right there in the middle of what he's saying. You can't really judge if he's just desperate because he lost everything or he's saying all this because he's willing to lose everything because he's just been so off-putting. If he was quiet as a mouse leading up to this and he just gave it all away and was doing all this, then that would be like, oh, yo, he may be really on or something. Like, he really may be talking that talk. But the fact of the matter is he's been doing this his whole career, so it's the boy who cried wolf. He may be telling the truth, but his truth sounds so off-putting that you can't believe him. So that's that's interesting because remember when the whole Kwame Brown thing, like, but he people in the people 
thought that he ain't half shit. Like he's broken. He just want a name for himself. But he was. He then he started saying, "No, I still got millions from from the, back in the day. Like I'm good. I'm just telling y'all the truth." And niggas was like, "Oh, okay. Like he might be on to something." But then, but Kanye got all this money, and he just he's willing, like you said, either willing to lose it all. Or he's just going down the drain. That's a good analogy, but you can't equate it to Kwame though, because Kwame went without talking for damn near a decade. We didn't hear from Kwame when he retired from basketball for a minute until they kept bringing his name up, and then he popped up like mm -hmm. a shadow lord. Mm -hmm. Like that's the only thing that brought him out. Like a who? It's <laughs> like you know. <laughs> but he started lord. to. He st but but the things that he was saying though. Man. Yeah, that's I feel good. what you're saying. Yeah. I feel what you're saying. But what I'm saying about Kanye though, the difference is. Kanye has just always been out there and like he's been where he's been on top of the world. He's been where he's been labeled crazy. Then he been where he's back on top of the world. Then he's back where he's labeled crazy. So it's just like what stage we on now. That's why he can't be believed, you know, by no, the normal the person. Crowd wolf for real. Yeah. So feel other than not knowing what the shadow Lord is. <laughs> You've been our Kanye guy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wearing Yeezys even yeah. after all of this. What my shit? What is it? What is it? What's up with bro? Uh, obviously, bro is in a downward spiral. That's pretty much what it is, man. <laughs> shit ain't. Man. <laughs> yeah. Frank, what you what, think? I don't know. I, I, I'm going to keep it a being, like being in the business world. A piece of it, uh, I'm going to attach more of it to facts than I am false. It's just because it's Kanye. So he said the way he said it. He's boisterous and it's a bunch of bullshit. But the facts is, like, think about what's happening. Like, he's talking and the people that he's saying can ruin him are ruining him. Kyrie's talking and Nike's gone. And they're saying, we're never coming back to you. Mm. Which should sort of open our eyes. I'm not saying that I side with bro, but... Think about the compassion that black folks have. Straight up. If one of us in here was a violate in some sort of way, we're going to deal with you, but I'm not going to cut your water off. Them folks cut your keep water let off. Let them cook real quick. Yeah, I'm letting them. I'm some. just, oh, go I got my finger go up. Just, no, keep no, going. No, nah, because you was going, keep well, going. My, it's just that, I mean, I, I, guess, I'm kinda, I guess I'm kind of seeing it. I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm kind of seeing it in the business deals that we doing. And most of them rooms, they don't look like us in them rooms. That's a fact. So when it's not us in the room, who am I agreeing to? And what am I agreeing to? A lot of things you believe in, a lot of things you stand for is from your culture. Well, I'm black. But what's the problem is that not, not enough of us, when we go into the rooms, we ain't standing on our shit. I think that's what Kanye's doing, but the way he's doing it is kind of tacky. And then Kyrie's doing it where he's making the other race look like they stupid, and they're not going to fuck with that either. You know what I mean? We like we trying to play ball. We are the most powerful race. Like, we are. That's a fact. I don't care what, what you're watching. We're the most powerful race. Trillions the, of dollars on these companies. On what, they, but on what we do. We spend trillions 100%. of dollars on these companies. But we also create the we content that, these, yeah, that these companies too. spend the money on. Mm -hmm. We're the yin and the yang to what they got going on. I got on. you. With, but I, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, with Kyrie, just to interject, mm -hmm. I haven't heard him say anything outside of just not apologizing as fast as they wanted him to. I feel like his thing was he posted that link to that video with no context. People got upset and they wanted him to move at a speed he wasn't willing to do. And it cost him everything. So if he was to say, if he was to talk like, you know, how Kanye was talking, all that stuff, there could be some belief in that because Kyrie, as much as like now he's being woke or whatever, mm -hmm. he ain't never been like really detrimental to anything. He went from just partying specifically with white girls. That was very known. Mm -hmm. And then known. He, he got into his wokeness and and then um he got he got his, his black woman, whatnot, his kids and all that. And now it's like they labeling him as this. And that, and that ain't never been the case. He ain't do like he ain't really say nothing. But Kyrie is a culmination of things. You know, yeah, it started right. with flat Earth. I, I, I know all that. You know, but that's what well, it a lot is. Of like niggas said that though. But no, but what I'm saying is, we, but what happens is, anytime you buck what the traditional education would say, you automatically get kind of pushed as an outlier. 
You do like that's just what society does to people, because if you can't get people to conform, mm. like the only reason why any of this shit works is because people are willing to follow rules. 100%. But, but the moment people stop following rules or stop believing in the rules that have been given to them, you do kind of got to bring people back in line. Not not us, so to speak, but the people who pay the bills and do that shit for you. Otherwise, we got chaos. Yeah. If if I may, no, but yeah, go ahead. No, I go ahead. Say, if I may, real quick, ahead, I think that's why, like, we're screaming, like, why do they do that? But that actually generates a positive result for their culture. Correct. But us as blacks are too emp empathetic for it. Like, we won't really rule with an iron hand. No, they will. That's the the difference. A rule with an iron hand. Like, we will try to find a way. My brother got a problem. I'm gonna talk to my brother. I want to fix my brother' problem. Versus, fuck my brother. Mm -hmm. directly and we need to exile him from what we got going on because technically he's a cancer they do that to their own and they can they can recover from that i could get into it with phil if i'm a, a member of the caucasian community i can get i could fuck your son everybody mm -hmm. but we can come back from that because it's just business in there oh, we try you smoked out us, here see what i'm saying us as people yeah unfortunately playboy we can't it. have that yeah we're a collectivist society though like if you really think about like origins we 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 do everything communal yeah um other societies are very individualistic if you really think about it like a lot of them be like yo as soon as i hit 18 i'm gone yeah. some of us we still want to be at the crib mm -hmm. be around the family we still want we still get together like uh, it it is that is a fact that there are differences in the culture. 100%. And then some, they kick you out when you're 18. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difference it's, in the culture. Yeah. Yes. It is definitely a difference to where, um, and, and the reason why Kanye got so much grace with black people for so long is because we're compassionate. We don't just cut you <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, we ain't. But then he start, Then he went down that George Floyd and all of that. that and that's where you start to lose yeah. us. Yeah. And. Even like during his rise, like he always gravitated to trying to please them. Facts. But pretty much everyone has to, though. But no. he went not the way over. Not the way he did it. Not the way he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was like he was. Oh man, the the Ralph know. Lawrence, <laughs> yeah, and, you know yeah, all that yeah, yeah. bullshit. Like, yeah. and he would put us like it felt he like he down. would put us down. You thought? I think so. Yeah, we was Kanye's sure. side broad for a while. For uh, sure. Yeah. Straight after that, that first album, yeah. after that first album, when he was his all pro black. Yep. Mm. And then he got on. And leave your ass for a white girl. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what happened. But Ye would tell you that's common sense. Because Ye would say, well, bro, I've been in the room. I've been in the room with Hove and Dame for years, and they wouldn't fuck with me. And as soon as I got on, these cats saw it, and they was rocking with me, which speaks to the business acumen of black versus white. But I cannot see... Jay Z being not being himself around them people to get what he want. I don't know what I we can see. see I'm just saying I can't see him doing that because you said you said that we have to do it that way. You get, almost got to You almost. Have I can't to. see Jay Z kissing ass like that. Jay Z about to have an NFL team. I guarantee you that he got. Jeff he did, Bezos. He had, I mean, if he have an NFL team. Ass. Not kissing ass. I don't Maybe know if he had to kiss just ass, turning a blind eye. You think he's gonna get the commanders? I think he had to look a diff I think JD had to look some stuff off. He got to. To be an owner of an NFL team. He got to. Barack Obama might be a part <laughs> owner of the Suns. Mm. We know Barack be probably got on the commanders. things in his that he had to look away in order to keep moving forward. He's about to. to be a part owner of the Suns? Him and there's an ownership that. team that it's a rumor. The rumor. He going to get it. Now, you all rumor with the president. Yeah, I mean, he, nah, he, he, you, he had a Zoom call and they just you he's don't, interested. Look, like, bro, that's cool. You don't, you don't, you don't, them. them. <laughs> no, he, the, those, uh, what you call it? The uh, They had those committees that. Oh, uh, he lobbyists. Lobbyists. Yeah. yeah, all that but, type but, of shit. But Barack, you don't, you don't play with like. You was good in history in high school. <laughs> 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 you know you don't, some you shit, don't play boy. with like uh, once you start bringing like ex president's you, name up in things, chances are that means it's already done. Because mm -hmm. you don't play with ex presidents because they still got George all the Bush power they had the while Rangers. they was president. George Bush had the Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they owned the Texas George Rangers Bush? for years. The Bush the family Texas did Rangers for years. Until he was a president. I didn't know that. And he had yeah. to devolve. He had to dissolve all his assets. The yep. Rangers were a part of it. Yeah. Cause you yeah. can't teach me shit right now. I did yeah. not know you that. Can't own shit when you well, president. Quote, until quote. Trump. Until Trump. 
Yeah. And, and then Trump was the only son. person. And they had didn't... two presidents in the family, right? Yeah, they had yeah. Bush, the father and son. senior, and yeah. Bush Jr. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's Gee. that's crazy. That's, right? That is crazy. Father, son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, <laughs> what, what's hold on? What's nepotism? Uh, nepotism. nepotism, where you hire your family. Yeah. Oh, okay. people that you yeah, know, that's I believe in nepotism. I be, I'm a huge I fan of nepotism. My that's family be around doing, me. Yeah, you LeBron, like, LeBron, I believe in commercials that. together. Yeah, yeah, like, that's that's and they doing with Bryce. He posts too. Yeah, that's beautiful. He posts too. Yeah, yeah. We need the nepotism in the But see, we ain't never had the power structures to really do so. Like we've always, and I'm always like, you got to pull more of us up. Like if you get in a position, you got to pull more of us up. But that's that collectiveness in us. That's Most sh- other, the like, other culture, I they love be like, I made working it. with us. <sighs> Me too. Like I love working with us. Do like, you? Do you? And I'm I'm, I'm with you on that yeah, too. Do you for that. real? Do. When you think about it, do I you? do. Or though. do you like working with people that look like you? That also there's a temperament and a mentality that they well, have. Well, you got to be fit for the fucking job, which means you don't like us then. Because all of us aren't fit for the job, and that's just that's but all of them not fit for the job either. Though, yeah, all them ain't fit for the job. That's what I'm saying. They don't like all of them. That's not true. You don't see the. The upper echelon whites, would they consider them trash just like they consider us trash. There's a set of black folks in the world that I'm seeing now where they begin to separate themselves from us, too. Where it's like, well, if you're thinking about trajectory in business and actually succeeding in something, there's the type of mindset that that black person need to have. Straight up. Period. I don't care how you feel, where I'm from, what I've just like. You need to be able to think a particular way to be successful. So do you, what you say, do you you like you, do you tolerate working with your own or do you like working with your own? Do you really like working with your own? I'm going to keep it a bean. I, it's more so the Jay-Z factor that you brought up. Is fam, I have to do what I got to do. And I really can't subscribe to what you niggas think about me as a black man. I have like a business to build and I'm a black man myself, which means this business is black owned. So because it's black owned, I need to progress black folks. But I'm going to progress the ones that get it. So when I speak with you, if it's an interview or whatever it is, you need to really receive what I'm saying. Because if you don't, fam, I can't waste any time on you. Mm -hmm. It's not that you won't be able to get it. I'm just not the nigga to teach it to you. With what I'm, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm saying you mentioned Jay Z. Everyone can't get in bro circle. His circle been the same. Yeah, but it's believe still, it or not, you still, two are examples. But it's still everybody levels, can't get in your this circle. This human being shit. It's still levels of knowledge that like you need to be at a certain stature to do a certain job. Fair enough. I'm just saying that's just human being shit. Unfortunately, bro. But if if I got a fucking Harvard grad, white white boy, uh-huh. family, you know, whatever, got uh-huh. all the juice, and I got a Howard grad right here, uh, and got all his degrees, grad, uh, undergrad, grad, everything. Man, I want him. To that's who I want too. I, I, I know. Agree. Yes, and I, I don't care how all this shit he know and who yeah. his family is. I agree. If he, if I know that he gets it, yes. and he know how to work hard, yes. he got his education. Yes. I'm picking him. Hundred percent every time. Now let's say same thing, Harvard grad, blase, blase. Mm-hmm. But say the the other person went to just like a community, like not community college. Okay, you still got they still got their state school. Okay, let's just say a state school. school. TSU, a state school. TSU, okay. TSU. A state school. Okay, like oh, not even TSU because that's still like HBC. A state school, like an NAIA. Or, yeah, I went to an NAIA yeah. school. Like say like an NAIA school and they got their masters and all that stuff. Masters they from still... somewhere. Like let's just say they NAIA school and got their masters from. No, say things. they got it from there too. Mm. Say they got it from there too. Are they still as even though they're black? Are they still up in that? No, because you got to think about now. You got to look at the resumes. You ever been? A, you ever been on a? You, you ever had to interview people and hire and hire people? No. Nah, Hmm? I'm, I was talking to him. No, I, nah, I'm not trying to shine. I'm no, just telling you. Like, no, so you're no, looking no, at, no, it's no. a bunch of black people, it's a bunch of white people, it's mixed, but you're looking at, okay, he, I'm just looking at, let me see who on here from University of Texas, U of H, uh, Sam Houston State. Like, and then you get to those like community college, and then they got that grad for them, them like second tier. So you, if I'm look, if I see a U of H grad right here, black dude, mm-hmm. and I see a tech UT, UT is going to catch my eye. And I look at the resume. Oh, he a white dude. Mm-hmm. I'ma still get that black dude. I'ma I'ma uh, look at his resume first and see what he got and set him up for an interview before I set up the white dude. Now, is that racism that you're doing what they do? Exactly. Damn, he right. He right. You are. He dead ass right. That's racism. That's 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 what I'm Don't saying. Like, you, oh my fault. Yeah, you're doing what they do, which is not a problem. Not a problem. But the thing is, they have more chances to do it. Correct. So that's why that's point, at the end of the day, we great. all get messed over. Like before I before I got into the profession that I'm in, which is teaching, mm-hmm. I had the damnedest time trying to find jobs. Like I said, I was the 
I have my my uh, my undergrad from a small NAIA Christian University okay. that I hooped at, and then I got my master's from uh, I guess would be a lower tier D one school, a Division one school. Mm-hmm. What's happening, bro? Go ahead, come and on, so, in. go ahead. And go. So uh, you good? Get you a seat. Get you a seat over here. There were plenty Angela of jobs be on set. that I applied for that I could not get. Mm-hmm. And and that will cut. Come on, go ahead and put your bag down. Put your you bag good. down. Go and get and it. So, Grab your drink. You get so, the podcast. You straight. You shit, good. That, that's what it was. Yeah. Like, well, well, I couldn't I, get nothing. Shit. What's honestly, up, I tossed yeah. it back to you, KC, because you, you, you an athlete. I think about the. I think about the the sports side of things. What's up, baby? I don't know what everybody in here had to do to get their scholarship. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, I don't know if you got that secret knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, <laughs> hell of a handshake. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know, y'all know we, about, we, gotta, we gotta introduce our brother <laughs> real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, get on the mic. Introduce yourself to the audience real quick. Crazy. Get on the mic. Introduce yourself to the mic. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, man. You can be on all types of shots, man. These niggas fire ass up. I'm telling you right now. You already know we're about to light you up. But that's what we do to family. You know, that's what we do to family. He's still good. He's still good. Test, test, test. He's straight. Hold on. 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 He good now? He good now? Okay, come on. Go ahead. Introduce yourself to the audience, please. please. I appreciate you, my man, over there in the cut. Actually, nah. I got warrants. I'm chilling. I'm not even here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, much love. Pretty fly side to the world from Houston with love. Facts. I'm Angelo Diaz. You know man? Just a poor horseman. Man, he's he's here an with actor. the boys. Yeah, with the the boys. Boys. Y'all, y'all remember last time we saw his headshots? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Because JC wasn't yeah. yeah. fuck with the yeah. headshots. Yeah. 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 I'll never get that. JC was like, hey, shit, I'm a summer to JC. I got. I fuck with y'all niggas, man. So so we we gotta get back to it. We kind of just having a conversation just around our community versus other communities and how we deal with with each other you being an actor <laughs> I, let me let me let me get let me get in there real quick let me ask you this is your last uh, acting gig you gonna ever get yeah, he trying to get on get back, get he back. need to get on get so, on. he did this and shit with a bunch of Jews too yeah. <laughs> in the acting world you you have you have all the upper uh, you know the upper tier actors you know the De Niro's the Foxes, the Washingtons, you know, all that. Michael B. Jordan. And then you there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You in your tier. Ain't not knock on your. You there though. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. So that, that's stay on the mic. You know it's what I'm saying? It's levels. Everything, and so sure. it is levels. Yeah. So they see all of this. They can't get it, and then they try to throw you a bone for you to get on. Are you taking it? You're referencing if. Those gentlemen, or if people in the higher, like they shun them, like like who say, they? The, you know they. Cotton we right. ain't talking. Right. They, 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 that's the, who. The that's their name. They. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but right. let's say they like uh, say they, uh, <laughs> Washingtons or the Foxes say something that that puts them in trouble. Okay. And then they were like, "Well, hey, we see this 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 gentleman Angelo Diaz has been killing it on NBC, blase blase. Let's bring him in. You knowing that what they doing with them." Is foul, or is I could look at it in a way and be like, I don't respect how they you, treated them. Matter of fact, as a black culture, Twitter is as like, black, yo, they yeah. they, culture, they yeah. killing them, like they 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 hoeing our people, and then they come to you. Do you take it? Damn, that's a that's a good question. I mean, you I, even let my brother get warmed up. He was like, you want to know? A wise man once said, "You stay ready, you got to get ready." Facts, but um. Nah, I kind of equated to. Well, I don't know. Is that what you were talking about when I just came in? Because well, I was finna go with sports with it. It's either sports or war metaphors when it comes to real niggas. So I was like, all right. With, in regards to sports, where I can directly pull from some of my history, if another dude's fucking up, I'm on a college football team, which I was, and another gentleman is fucking up, blowing his opportunity, which I can relate to because I did. What is that? The next guy behind him is supposed to not take advantage of his opportunity to shine. 
Or, it, I mean, it's a case-by-case basis. The coach is doing me dirty. Like, the coach is doing me foul, making it hard for me to go to another school. The coach knows you're trying to transfer, and he not getting and, you And he's doing me no dirty. And then, and then the coaching, it's like most coaches, it's a small world. So a lot of football coaches know each other, just like basketball brothers, coaches, know each other from camps, coming up, recruiting each other, looking out for each other. Only basketball players understand basketball players. Only rappers understand rappers. So we tend to insulate what's going on. So if that's the case, which I can directly relate to, if a football coach is putting salt on my name to make it hard for me to go to other schools that are still interested, and oh, I'm sorry, if I'm a rising freshman, sophomore, whatever, and I'm behind in the depth chart, behind a junior or senior who has opportunity to shine, is being done foul, whatever's happening, that gentleman feels like he needs to go to another school, should I take advantage of the opportunity I have under the same regime that's doing my, whether he my man's or exactly. not, he's doing another brother 30. Mm-hmm. That's a game, a game time decision. And I've been in that instance before. And I made a decision that I felt like in the short term, I felt good about because it matched my integrity. But in the short term, it didn't pay off. But long term, it put me where I was supposed to be. But I couldn't have predicted that God would have looked out for me because I told this one gentleman, fuck you, because I didn't like how he was doing my brothers and sisters. And then I was down bad for a minute. And then I got back right. But if I wasn't down bad for a minute, God wouldn't introduce me to this other idea or person or connection or opportunity that took me a whole nother route. I wouldn't be here acting if I ain't say, fuck y'all, I don't like how y'all doing us. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta hold it down and but say the camera on, on a case by case basis. <laughs> yeah. This this dude just freestyled all this shit. And he made it made sense. I am very impressed. Cause at yeah. first I was like, where the fuck are you going with this? Yeah, but then he, brought he it really all made this shit <laughs> made sense, and then he didn't even look like a whole ass nigga in the process. I, I can't even. We, 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 we need to get our n word um, doc jar back. Oh, 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 you got the right guess on here. This how we talk. Yeah, my fault. We on here. My bad. Y'all broke the n word limit for this episode. I mean, I'm I'm a fan of the part. I know we not supposed to say it before. I said it. I came in the game with my bad. This episode. I mean, that was that was a well said answer. Nah, but you didn't even I respect that. I appreciate it. I respect but but that. to get back to where we was was kind of going to his point <laughs> that talks about how collective we are. He made a decision that may not have benefited him in the short run because we don't like to do our people bad. And the ones around us that do us bad, we got to get them away from us. Like if you see someone talking down or having conversations that don't benefit us, um, you know, like wealthy people talk ideas, poor people talk about people. You know, and, and like the more you see that, you'll start to be like, oh, OK, I need to move with people who are about our community, about trying to put us on. Everybody won't take the opportunities, though. That's a fact. You can't get everybody to move in one way. But at the minimum, you can keep presenting opportunities for people to take advantage of and, and see how it goes from there. Everybody, morality and integrity is not the same. That's why you can't. And that's what I was headed. Yeah. You can't dictate like people get upset by trying to dictate what somebody else's moral uh, status, the more compass should be. And that's where they everything get messed up. And it's tough to even get into that bag because I made a choice I made based on how I was raised. Another person made that choice based on how they were raised. So how can you not nature versus nurture, either how they were raised or their DNA coding or a combination of both, whatever you believe in, whatever you into. So it's, it's a mixed bag of like, okay, cool. If I'm on a particular mission, I got to say screw them because they don't get what's going on. They don't get Black Wall Street. They don't get what we need right now. Then cool. But if on a case by case basis, if we have like a coach in there, if we have a talent where we feel like, all right, I could work with this person, you know what I mean? Hmm. Torn ACL or not or such and such or not, I could still rock with this. But like they used to tell us, cliche, like cliches as we get older, they cash in. You can't coach hard. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't make you taller. You know what I'm saying? I can't mm-hmm. teach you how to juke. You know what I mean? I can't teach you to spin moves. You just got to know that. Mm. But I can't coach a killer instinct. Yep. Mm-hmm. I can't coach. That either came from you being hungry growing up or you was done wrong growing up or you was done right growing up. Whatever it is, the precious chemistry that made you you, I, like, I can't account for that. And Only I could do is come in and see what I could do with that or put you to the left. And there's a, this also goes back to JC's point where you're looking at the people that you hiring. Well, in most cases, that cat that went to that smaller school, what they aren't, what they don't have at the bigger school is the fight that they have at the smaller that school. Hunger. What that they hunger. went through to get to that That's position, good. which when I interview, when I used to interview, I would tell co- folks, anybody that tell me they try and be around me forever, I'm looking at funny. 
because you lying when you got here. Yeah. Everybody at some point you're looking to build something for yourself. Mm-hmm. And if you aren't looking to build something for yourself, that's a problem. Right. So then because then you eventually you looking and leeching off of me for entirely too long. So you didn't come in here with no progression. You came in here with an idea to leech and do more here. Somebody come to you and they open man enough to open up and say, oh, I'm interested in opening up my own gym. If the smart businessman, if I'm JC and the smart businessman in me says, perfect, I'm going to groom you and then I'm going to partner with you and let you open your gym because I know I can make 10, 15 percent off something I'm not even doing. That's me. That's just who I am when you listen and versus, yeah, I'm going to be here with you forever and I'm going to support what you got going on forever. Cool. You need those, but they have limitations. But you got to remember, most of us come or we came from scarcity. So your your mindset takes a lot when yes. you didn't have a lot of resources. Mm-hmm. It's really you just trying to get that opportunity. Yeah. Most people are really just let me get a foot in the door. Mm-hmm. And if I get a foot in the door, I'm cool with hanging with him because I see what he's doing. And at the minimum, I won't be scarce anymore mm-hmm. because it's fearful for people to say I'm going to go out and do my own shit. Like that's a challenge for a lot of people. Tell me about it. Like that's that's probably one of the more difficult things that people encounter when you say, nah, you gotta go out and get it on your own. Mm. That's not comfortable for everybody. Like, especially where we come from. Yeah. You know, and, and I could only imagine in acting, because <laughs> everybody come from scarcity typically in that. At least when you out like in LA and everybody okay. getting together, other than the people who have family and stuff like that that was already in the business, most of the people are really struggling to get on. You know, there's way more actors who don't make it than do. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? <laughs> way more. There's Thanks. way more models that don't make it than mm-hmm. do. There's no way more NBA players that don't make it than do. Well, Man. hell, they ain't even NBA players. They just hoopers. Just, well, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying they, 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 they just, don't make but, it. But, but, they, they can NFL. have an NBA level talent. And we all know. Yeah. We know people handful, like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, damn, bro would have had that ACT or SAT or however yeah. they gatekeep. If they would have had that opportunity, it'd have been a fool. The it'd best athletes I ever seen in my life was, or the, the best moves, at, the best athletes, the best moves, the best dunk or whatever came from niggas that just didn't make it. Yeah. The best, what I seen with my own too, like, you know, fuck the Vince Carter uh, slam dunk contest. I've seen dudes do stuff like just off the whim. Like, it's like, bro, oh, you next up, but they just fucked up. And shout out to that and one documentary where it oh, shed yeah. a lot of light on how that we saw down. a corporation come in and take advantage of that gap. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And now, uh, years later, we're seeing us take more advantage of that gap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whether it's street ball, whether mm-hmm. it's liquor. Shout out to uh, Kevin Hart. I just saw him on uh, Drink Champs. Shout out to them promoting that joint. Mm-hmm. But we just taking up more shit. Even something like this, like Drink Champs, we just occupying more spaces that other people were occupying. They were they were reporting on our sport, the culture, and now we can report. On it, not only report on it, but own the platform that it goes to, and potentially move into owning the airwaves that it reports to. Having black creators create these, it's mostly shooting us. All this shit shooting Straight us, up. Okay. Yeah. And, and we're on sets all the time, and they don't know how to light us. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't know how to light our shades. So, to, I, so we might have people intern. creating those, creating the algorithms that Netflix uses, creating all that from the kitchen sink all the way to delivery from warehouse to the brother driving a forklift to the brother who owns the warehouse mm. to the motherfucker picking it up everybody black owned in and out and that's where we getting closer and closer to so every guess, day guess what our interns all our interns we ever had in here is you but that's intentional huh? yeah by that's, design that's what I'm saying. but and then you and then paying them mm-hmm. and they you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so it's just like yes it's intentional so it is that the same way of me you know, clicking on the the black dude's profile, and that's what yeah, I'm saying. Because so like, you had a choice. I had to, a choice for sure, and they're right across the street from each other. They, they're directly across, <laughs> really, yeah, directly yeah, across. Like, like Fam in Florida third, State, okay, the, yeah, exactly. The same. Got you. They they occupy the same street. Got you. And yeah. he chose to get ease. People with opportunity. I think. Th- hold a minute. Don't say get ease. I'm talking yeah. about man. I'm talking <laughs> about, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you see. All right. So we it. like this has been way too deep. Yeah. Way, no, was, I think. Yeah. My fault. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we move. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's a lot of gym. Gym. So, so we, like we got to get into our That's new segment. Um, we want to do it earlier in the episode this time, and we got. We got we got a brother with a whole heart on his jacket, yeah, so yeah. you know he got some conversation for the ladies. But it's so an X in it. <laughs> <laughs> you got an X in it. I'm glad. I'm, <laughs> that is, that is a fact. My bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention right. to detail for sure. So our our new segment again <laughs> is called "In Women's Business," and we got a good one from our Patreon chat today, Uh-oh. and it's based around Carisha and Diddy. 
Okay. All right. Hmm. Someone put in there that Carisha had an allowance of over two hundred thousand a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the question in our topic was asking ladies, we want to give them an opinion. That's what our segment is about. Should a woman accept being chosen by a man to spend time for a certain daily or monthly allowance? And what dollar amount do we feel like is reasonable? <laughs> so I guess you would have to word it's the good. question to like what dollar amount would they Yeah, what, what what do we think that a woman should accept <laughs> if she wants to be kept or should they be kept at all? But okay. So, so <sighs> let, go, let, let, let the player go, go first. Go ahead, go ahead, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's on, different man. it's different layers Ooh, of being a, a, a <laughs> being a player, right? So you you dealing with did he a top level player? He a billionaire. So 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 listen, he can have one on the roster that's two hundred G's a month. He probably got another one on the roster that's twenty G's a month. You get what I'm saying? So it's just different layer of being a player, man. If you got the money to spend, some will spend it. The broke ones, the ones that ain't even thousandaires, they they do the same thing, but it's on the lower level. Mm -hmm. So you're it's saying that someone get McDonald's. McChickens out there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's not, but that's she not like the lowest chicken. tier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. is McChickens it? are ninety nine nah, they, cents. They'll let them heat up their Roman <laughs> inflation. 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 inflation now. The picnics, yeah, picnic niggas is the brokest nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the ones who go picnics is the brokest. Oh, we got basket. Yeah, exactly. All right, so what y'all think, fellas? In the middle, what y'all think? Should women want to be kept? Man, I, this, come on. This, should women. I this, can't speak. For, I can't speak. <laughs> this is the segment that ends women's business. That's a crazy segment. Oh, oh, that's a crazy segment. I sat down so professional. This shit. Is, <laughs> <laughs> women's business is important. <laughs> nah, 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 we, need, we need women leaders to <laughs> so support women's business. Absolutely. This comes nah, from our Patreon. I'm going to believe in women's business. Shout out to the Patreon. They asked us this question. Shout out Patreon. You stupid. <laughs> so what you think? Should we want to be kept for a certain amount of money? You know what I Damn, wanted to do that. Man, you think it, bro? I got a second dog. I got yeah. a second dog's notion on that. I can't answer the question in the form of should women want to be. It's on a case by case basis, yeah. man. And I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm in a room of gentlemen that was had some OGs in their life when they was being raised. And OG will look you dead in the eye. OG will look his daughter dead in the eye. And I may have to that come to that point at one point in my life, but. A OG will look a woman, anyone dead in the eye and say, ma'am, you walk around with the most precious resource on the planet. That's that, that vagina, that estrogen, what you bring to the table. You should never be broke. You should never have to worry about no rent, nothing like that. When it come down to the bottom line, that's just where you at. So I'm not saying that logic is profound and balanced and healthy, but I'm saying that logic was a part of my upbringing. So being a Miami nigga, being a young gentleman from Duval, like the years go by quicker. Like one year is like dog years, like seven years. Like I just see, you just see more growing up. So I'm not finna knock no young lady based on what she's looking to do or how she's looking to come up. At the end of the day, me as a man of respect, as a maid. So, you know, so I have my own path where I'm not finna do certain things to make it or whatever. I'm just finna listen to God and do my direct download. At the end of the day, I can't even speak on Diddy and, and wh whatever's going on there. I can't do that. That's as a matter of respect. Answer, but at yeah. the end of the day, if you feel like you got it like that and you don't want your woman, you don't want somebody that you rock it with or belongs to you, whatever the full dynamic is there, you don't want her worried about where the food coming from or who cleaning the house or what that, that that's baby logic mm -hmm. to have. It's Instagram, Instagram meme logic to be like, man, what a woman that that cook and clean for the fellas where that's at. Man, as a Don, as a boss, as a king, I'm looking to outsource that. I'm not looking to have no chick that's like waiting around at the crib for me to come back to this perfect place. And then like, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a chick who's doing her own thing, building an empire or we building together, whatever the case may be. And we out. You ain't got to worry about no cooking or no cleaning. You know what I mean? Or whatever little human stuff you into, whether it's bags or travels or cars, whatever. If you got it like that, and that's how you prefer to give it up as a gentleman, do your motherfucking thing. Yeah. As a woman, <laughs> you walking around with the most precious resource on the planet. Right, what you think, Mister Neil? Well, I ain't gonna hold you. My father said the same thing, just a little differently. And he said it to my sisters, and I was there when he said it. So he said it. He said exactly what Angela said, just a lot more vulgar. Sweetheart, you got that. You should never be broke. He said it just like that. But I'm a. I guess I kick it slightly different, uh, and it, it definitely still comes from a player standpoint. But it's just more so, fam. I've grown to learn life is what it is, and I've seen more women go through this mantra in their early twenties, in their early teens, into their mid twenties, and then get to their late thirties and forties, and, and then understand, 
Like they just they hold their whole like perspective opens up um, to how men move, right? Yeah. And I think that that's a time. Like I really just ultimately think it's a time thing. Like what's happening with Puff and, and old girl? I have no clue. Because when Shardy lay down with bro, the game that he give her and the things that he do probably stick to her. The issue with women, in my opinion, is is that they it's too many people in y'all business. Like y'all share too much of y'all business, and they're attempting to be in a position where it's like, well, I got this man under control. So you don't got no man under control. Every man, the, the married from the married man like myself and everyone else moving forward to the guys that are single, you don't have none of us under control, sweetheart. No bullshit. What you do have is. <laughs> You have us trying to be the best version of us. Well, that's what's truly happening. Yes. And if you don't respect that portion of sweetheart, you're going to see me spiral out of control. And so I, I am like, when I see it in women's business portion and that happens, that young lady needs a, a, a resource and that man has that resource. But the young lady wouldn't even be able to get around him if he ain't have something else that she fuck with. Right? Because that's, that's the player portion of it. It's a lot of cats with money. Facts. But I know broke niggas that pipe cats with money lady. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So when you find that balance, that it, guy. It, it, hold on, wait, I can't. Oh God, I'm on public. I'm like, wait a minute. All right. So with that port being mentioned here publicly, <laughs> what, what I'm say? ultimately trying to say is, is that you gotta give the ladies their space and try to be as transparent as possible with them so that they understand what's going on with you. Because in my opinion, men make more concessions. We make more concessions that are impactful to our well-being oh, than question. women have to. Without question. It's a part of what they have going on already. You know what I mean? The communal <laughs> aspect of it. It's already in you. It's already in you. It's in your business model. Yeah, I'm saying what's up. I'm expanding. I'm trying to be I'm trying to attempt to be something different for you. And you need to really accept that because we all could fit in this room. You know what? I ain't gonna do it. But a set of men, one, two, three, four. Six men could be in a room, two, four, six. So six men could be in a room, not us, but six men could be in a room with all type of relationship ties, but also be able to manage relationships outside of the relationship that they already have. If everyone that's involved understands what's taking place. And that's like, that's just more so sort of where I land, because for a long time, I thought this world was a fairy tale. And then I hear about, you know, oh, I was married for 20 years. I've been married for 40 years. I married 50 years. You know what that tells me? All types of shit in that is in there. Because y'all trying to figure it out as human beings how to continue to grow. I've been with my lady 15 years. 15. I don't hear, I hear the new, the newly way. I hear y'all. This game deep when it comes to trying to deal with another person and understand what another person I is on yeah. and how to be there for another person. And when she not having a good day and it's year six and she don't remember who you are as a man, you're like, damn, it's year six. You don't remember me? Yeah, and she I'm, keep challenging you year six. <clears throat> what I'm most disappointed in is that I could have had kept women when I was on my McDonald's diet. <laughs> Cause, bro, you know how much McDonald's I was buying. I already know. I ain't gonna lie, these niggas on this couch is deep. Those niggas need an A and E special. <laughs> You got to think about In my honest opinion bro I think we come I think we are the greatest generation of people Without Anybody from 85 to 92 If you were born in between 85 and Because we got the internet but we we existed before the internet existed, so all of us know how to run up we on a woman go and talk. We, we know how to talk, talk to a girl. Yeah. About this. Yeah. But we, we also know that. how to give her game yep. through our fingers too, because yep. we was able to be, and not fingering hey. the nasty way, but Jeez. finger to the dick. Hey. Hey. I got fingers of magic, man. I was in middle school known as the finger. Stop. 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 You, play, you play piano? Stop. <laughs> I was like, I was like, pretty cool. I right. played piano. was right. crazy. Right. I would have fucking up my fault, man. Stop. My, my whole point was that I, I just I just feel like that we, as guys that are born in between a certain time frame, we can talk to women and we can talk to them on social media. We connect with them in a way that I don't think that, you know what I mean, the newer guys are, have the ability to do so just because they weren't uh, fortunate enough to grow up when we were. We would get in fights. We would also ride our bike. We come from that era. Remember Christmas? You get your bike? You go ride your bike? Yep. That's not a thing no more. So I got a PS4. Yeah. Remember when well, Michael sorry, Jordan got Jordan. buckets and he would go like this? That's how I used to do after the movies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
And that's been episode 220. Look, we got we got other topics we was gonna discuss. <laughs> no, hey, but hey, not hey, 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 look, man. Let's talk about let's talk about so we talked about second said we on the second tack. So the second dot. So since we got y'all here, since we got y'all here, we know um home base is really Atlanta. I know you kind of go back and forth between New York, LA, and Atlanta. We want to like kind of interview y'all also again. Just kind of what y'all got going on, what's been happening what's next what's planned um i know there's some things we're gonna be involved in also yes, sir, but at the sure. same time we want to make sure people have a formal more formal introduction because the last time y'all been here our audience has probably tripled you know since then so make sure hey, we want to i would like to ask hey, y'all a question i would like again. to ask y'all a question publicly <laughs> yeah because uh, it was on my mind because i thought i thought about our first episode and what happened since our episode yeah. together mm-hmm. and honestly with you obviously as the uh captain of the ship somewhat what did like our engagement with you you know what i mean because i don't consider us we're established but i don't consider us top tier yet you know what i mean we're top tier in what we do and we're very good and confident in that but like bro said there's michael b jordan there's sam jackson's out there but when we rock with you i started to notice a different type of movement with the pod you know what i mean because i would mention to you like yo, I, i'm interested in doing things live have y'all done things live uh, the value, like, do you all see yourselves as actual quote unquote characters? You know what I mean? Where you all individually add value. And then I see that each of you have individual segments on your platform now. All right. So that my first question before you get interviewing us was I want my credit. Yeah. What was that exchange like? <laughs> Honestly, what was that exchange like? Because it's not we were doing things. And I remember I remember the comments. I remember how y'all used to talk to us when we first met y'all. It wasn't as. As like it is now, you know what I mean? That's and I, we ain't know y'all niggas. Which is a fact. But I <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> but no, but this real shit, this is good content. Nah, 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 Straight nah, up. With all, and with sp- directly to you. Yeah. Straight up. I know a lot of cats that I met, they carry your temperament when we meet them. It's like I don't believe I don't know if I believe this shit. Nah, it wasn't that. It okay. was literally we, we don't know you. Like, Fair like, enough. Like, like from here. In Houston, if you don't really know nobody like that, you gotta warm up to Straight them. up. You don't know. You like you could dap hands with somebody and be cool with them at a bar, talk watching the game, and then by the end of the night, same person plotted on you and him you up and steal your shit. Yeah, so sure. like I mean, not, y'all not from here, but that, we still carry that temperament with like people that we just meet. Like yeah, sure. we gotta warm up to them. We gotta you know get cool with them. I, except me though. Because he's not from me. Yeah, he's I'm Oki. more. Gotcha. I, I'm. It ain't Oklahoma. It's because military. Oki nah, it's military. <laughs> I, I had to, when I moved. Um, being a military brat, the only thing you could lean on was either being athletic or your personality. Thank God I had somewhat of both. But being able to talk to people and make instant connections, I wouldn't have made it at six different states and seven different schools. You yeah, wouldn't I'm, have made it. Yeah, I'm not like that either, though, Casey. I, I gave them a. Uh, when they when we was interviewing them the first time, I gave them time to speak. I like to hear people speak, and if they making you sense, come on in, come on in. Then I'm rocking, right I'm rocking with them. So yeah, man. But uh, but but to that to your point though about probably before y'all got on, we because you got to remember before y'all got on, Phil was really just getting fully cemented. He probably had did like. 20, Brother, 30 I, episodes. I, I was cemented when I first came on this motherfucker. Don't start that bullshit. I And I would say this, like, there'll be times where KC would be like, man, I, if I'm obligated to do this shit, I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't said that. that shit in a while. That's you what we, like, that's he, we he, talking he, about. about. We was like two J, J, Bro, JC just check out sometimes. Yeah. Like, bro, you, JC won't even talk to us sometimes in chats. No bullshit. Like, he'll just show up to the pod. And I'd be like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I was working. <laughs> like, I, laugh, I still from? laugh at all the shit going on, in the, and I just like the whatever uh, the time there is. Will be, there will be months. Brother, you don't see this shit. You, yeah, you don't be months. <laughs> no, you ain't gonna push yeah, it. You ain't gonna do that right here. No nothing. Exclamation nothing. marks. No high. No, 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 what's going on? No, no, I, but no, I'll be nothing. doing all that like, like, while I'm looking at it. Up. But, but you know, it's weird because we didn't know that the podcast probably probably had something until we did turkey leg hut yeah and then the response we got from that yeah we saw that response kind of catapulted nice. us to like oh nah we we really know what we're doing because you don't know what you're doing none of us is broadcasters 
None of us. No well, reporters. No reporters. We never did journalism. Mic mic that journalism. You had. We had one mic in the middle of uh, my living room. Yeah. No, in my movie room. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I saw it before Turkey Leg Hut. But see, we didn't. But, but, yeah, when I walked but, in, what I saw was organic. I ain't gonna hold you. That was all that we that we saw. We saw that, oh, they know each other. Yeah. Perfect. Because whatever y'all doing, if there's a problem, we should be able to discuss that problem. Oh, there, there, look, there's some violence going out there oh, with animals in this say. building right now. Oh, she's she's up. Like, all of them. <laughs> you thought it was like a ringtone. Ring 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, like, Morgan wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. Right, but not like detrimental for him. But, but, to yeah. that, but let, then talk about the connection there. Like okay. the initial connection was me to y'all. 100%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. um, I tend to be the person who, like you mentioned before, look at those opportunities where, okay, let's see if we could expand. And a part of that expansion definitely was like, okay, we can rock with them mm -hmm. because I saw how you moved. Mm -hmm. I saw how you moved and I said, oh, I can fit right in there. I have a different skill set mm -hmm. and I know how to make my skill set kind of work with most people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sound like but six. We all here. We all here. We all here. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I got a different skill what? set. <laughs> but, but to that point, like, what? I, what? I, I saw y'all growing pains too, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, yeah, she I have seen the growing pains. I, I have seen y'all yeah. be in the <laughs> in buildings the trying that? to start. Because Phil is a wild boy. Yeah. Phil, <laughs> Phil is yeah, horny. <laughs> we need a horny meter right now. Like, can you put a horny meter? Yeah, I'm going to put a horny meter on him. And it's going to go. Why did he sit there? What the fuck just happened, bro? I'm going to put that horny meter in. But I've also seen Angelo and your short film projects that you have been putting out i remember when your, inst your instagram got hacked yeah. bro bro was selling um crypto tokens at he one sure point. was he sure was top flight top flight. and i was like yo hit, what hit up my this? dog sheila she gonna get you the cash ass <laughs> whatever, they, whatever they were selling yo up. sheila was getting bread from people bro and then i've seen like what you've been doing i know you have you know you've changed teams you've worked with different people a variety mm -hmm. of things have happened the same stuff that's happened to us so i'm like oh they get it also yeah. to that generational thing you mentioned our generation knows how to hustle I agree. a lot of generations with the first sign of a a failure they they out quit. Of there <laughs> and we ain't like that like none of us are like that so if we did that all of us would have been quit this shit right. or at least i would have you know what i'm saying so so what's next for y'all then let's start with you angelo since you because frank was already kind of talking some mm -hmm. let's get a little detail what like what's going on what's new projects where do you see yourself i know before you was talking about muhammad ali and things like that where do you see yourself now Oh uh, man, uh, I'm still pushing down that same journey. Muhammad Ali is coming. Closer. Don't look at them. <laughs> Stay away from them. Go, focus That's on another them. reason why I like the pod, though. She I know, it's organic. Bro. She can still have it on Yeah, me and him are still be yeah. focused. I love That's this how shit. Go. Man. go ahead, go ahead. I Keep love going. this shit. I'm tripping <laughs> off that shit, too. Y'all easily, I'm we telling you. Y'all have the best. Don't worry. Y'all got fam. 40 meters going to be on the pod. Go, 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 go. Go. Chill out. Go. Nah, damn. Yeah, that. And uh, just came across a very dope opportunity rocking with NBC Universal and that whole, mm. the Dick Wolf part of the world, yeah. like the Chicago fires and the New Amsterdam's and Law and Order. So looks like we're on to something special there. So then that's going to roll out kind of top of the year and into the spring. Man, um, yeah. man. <laughs> appreciate y'all, boy, get man. that Dick Wolf money. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I ain't know. Yeah, in fact, Dick Wolf got he, 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 law and all the shows. SVU, like, Chicago talking, PD. I'm talking like 10 shows. Oh, you see the shows? Yeah, no, all of them. He's like the, EP. the head guy. Over he's all an EP. Them bro, oh, that's all like, for like, like 30 years. Of, <laughs> yes. All them, yeah. people, all them people under the umbrella yeah. of Dick. For like 30 years, bro. Don't get him fired, man. He tried to... He tried to stay employed, man. Ugh. I'm chilling. I, hey, I think I got that under control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah, that's all you're supposed to I do. I think I got to get that's employed it. under control. All right, come on. Back to that's this. That's all you're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Richard. Richard Wolf. Who's that, George? Richard Wolf. Oh. Is one of those Richard, people that help. Shout uh, out to Richard. He's one of those people that help keep the lights on in the industry. Straight for up. Real. Straight uh, up. And, and the yeah. people. <laughs> he said for sure. He said for sure. <laughs> <laughs> in five niggas on five and, minutes straight yeah, like, yeah, for no. sure go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, oh go ahead. my god and then we to you next Frank and, and, and what he's done is impacted the culture heavily so I want to say we appreciate <laughs> he's what, the what, what, what Richard I Wolf see, has I done been getting that dick out <laughs> in these streets not getting any D money just appreciative of the law and order opportunity um, uh, so, so what you gonna be a cop 
Go yeah, on. man. Don't it's, tell, don't it's tell the camera. Up. Don't tell the camera. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Put the I'm, camera I'm gonna on let me. them enjoy that. I'm gonna let them enjoy that. No, you can't. Put them up. Don't tell the camera. Put them up. Frank, what you got, brother? What's been going on with you, brother? Oh shit. Houston, Texas. Believe it or not. Houston. Making Houston our official second home. Straight up. Making 2016 Main Street our second location. Um, making the V Studio 680 Murphy Ave in Atlanta a second home for Poor Horsemen and the Creators Guild and allowing some actual cross we're getting ready to traffic this business yeah, you know what I mean straight up. we're getting ready to traffic across and I want some people to actually see like well we sat in these seats and a lot of shit that we was talking about we still doing and I hope that that's no longer looked at as cap it's looked at as oh these are a set of people that we can grow with you know what I mean as individuals but also with what we're doing with Breon um, if y'all ever in Atlanta we actually have we a location have for y'all to record. Yeah, we we can do it. The things that we're doing in uh, New York, Boutique Fashion Week Volume 6 is in Manhattan this year. Not Harlem, Queens. Not saying anything's wrong with those other places. But we're taking it to the biggest market, Manhattan. Um, we got Swim Volume 3 in Houston this year. It's our swim show, our swim series that we did in Atlanta. We're bringing it to Houston in May 2023. <clears throat> and our objective, we've already looked at the location. When we go off camera, we'd love for y'all to check it out. But... Yeah. We would love y'all to come and pod in the summer live there because it has a beautiful city backdrop. It's the same way we sort of set things up the first time we going back through. Go Shout ahead. out Journey Fit because by that time I'm going to have my oh B cut my. and I'm going to just shoot the pod shirtless. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing because my uh, people doubted me. It, LP had everybody doubted me like, oh man, you no, got no I had cut. people saying you got gout. <laughs> he just said that. That's crazy. The V is already showing right now. It's just like it's like we really gonna right. still discuss this. Yeah, that's bro, a, he, welcome hey, to the podcast. Y'all like the perfect, <laughs> perfect friend group, bro. Y'all like <laughs> <in the moment. laughs> like got it all down pat. It's Keep a chill dog. It's chill dog too. in the cut. Mm -hmm. Be cool. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. dog trying he to organize. Hell, and, and, and leave shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, bro, bro, like Zach got the knackers. Like, he the one who was like, bro, let's go fucking You know what I'm saying? Because we got sports in here, I think we have to do, at least before we get out of here, a Lakers moratorium. Jesus. Christ. Mm. Because yeah, yeah, they're not making the, they're not making the playoffs. Don't have they're, something to do with death. They're dead. Yeah, the Lakers yeah, are dead. That's what's that, what's I want to say we appreciate the Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers, and everything they've done Hello. for the culture. Yeah, because they, nah. they out of hey, there. What's no. that song? What's that How song many games like, has been? Little dogs 15? and shit. Twelve. When 12? dogs Two and be ten, dying and shit on commercials, you know, you know the oh, little, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, song yeah. And they, the hungry like dogs and, and shit. White, no. That's what they need to do. Hey, oh, the arms of an angel. That shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, you remember when LeBron traded his whole team in, in, Cleveland? in Cleveland? Yeah, but they wasn't two and ten. They guys, what was they record? They're probably time. like five and five. They wound up in the finals though. Huh? Yeah, we won't okay, talk so about the Lakers. That LeBron <laughs> James is done. So I like to go to LeBron. Hold on, hold on, stop. LeBron cannot win games I want to go to LeBron correspondent first. No, I'm talking about he got a whole new team. Hold on. JC, you the LeBron correspondent. Phil, Phil, no. Phil is our LeBron sure. correspondent. Yeah. Is LeBron done? Nah, he nah, ain't we ain't done. Gonna do that. Like, no, no, that's not the point. Is LeBron done? Big LeBron nah, nah, fan. he ain't. He, he's not Let done. But to what KC was saying, he can no longer carry a team to so to to victory or nothing like that. Man. With that being said, is he still top five? Nah, he's not top five. Who's top five? Top ten. What what do you base top it on? Uh, uh, top ten in the NBA. Would you put him in what the top? Uh, right I'll put him in the top ten. Still, he's not top five though. Because no, who not top five? He ain't top ten. Bron not top five. Who bro. you putting over him? I'm putting. I'm putting. Giannis. I'm putting Curry. Giannis. You Giannis. Say it. Giannis. You asked him. I, I'm, I'm going to say Giannis, Curry, Go ahead. Luca, Ja Morant. Hell no! What? No. John Mar them niggas ain't won nothing yet. The, the, uh, I'm talking not about basing it on the history. You can't base it on we history. talking about. I'm about to right, right now. now. What we go base <laughs> right now? No, it's no. based on history. Right it now, is. I'm saying he talking about player, physically, his ability, right now. physically, his health and things like that. It sucks. But so you, you projecting? You like hypothesis? No, like you got a crystal ball. You're looking at right Jay Morant could do this. Not what he's done. I would not have LeBron James in my top ten. I would I would have my I'm top ten. This not, season. This this season. They talking about I'm a LeBron number two. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Even go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even it, like the stats were there, but even including last season, I wouldn't have him in my top ten. And he averaged thirty. Facts. Okay, LeBron corresponded too. What you think? I ain't hold you. It's a tip. If as long as I've been living, it's been a team game. And I'm not saying that Bron's like that guy, but his teams have always been decent. His team ain't good. The last time he had a good team, he won a championship. 
So I think that everything that he's doing right now is empty because the squad ain't good. But when the squad's good, everything that he's doing will be extremely valuable. So that actually leads points to what they're saying, though, which I don't want to admit. But, bro, might not, I ain't going to say a top 10, but, bro, I know he's not top five right now. And he yeah. not, he's not top five, literally, because what he physically can do. The can't, nigga be yeah. tired. He be tired. Yeah, but be I, I ain't going to hold you. It's crushing a nigga's heart. Cause I came up on bro. I, I used to wear oh. the headband in 03. Yeah. I'm a I'm like my, a huge my Instagram fan. Instagram name is LeBron no. Paul. Exactly. It's, it's crushing but me, it's, but it's fast. It's nothing not. against his legacy. At I'm all, just nothing. talking right now. Yeah, he's he, 37. He's 37. Years old. 38 tired. next week. He's tired. And, and three people, weeks. People yeah. still try to equate him like he is that player. He is no longer that LeBron James that could win game. As a Detroit Pistons fan, I saw yeah, you him seen literally, it, yeah, firsthand. Win I game. saw him literally <laughs> live Facts. win a game that led him to winning a playoff series. Nobody thought. Thought they he could were win. gonna win. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. I'm about to go watch he, that he when I get home. That, he won that the whole game series wait, wait, wait. and willed them to That's that game, game six. Why are you going to watch too? that? Because I love watching LeBron yeah, highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they got that the shit classic. Game, if you I look on you, game five. If you, five. They got people shit. If you think of no, a game two, three, that two, 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 two. if you think of a game, man, you type it in on YouTube, they got it. And that, it's highlights. Yeah. If you think of a game when that game LeBron hit all them threes. I can, I still watch that, that to this day. That Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. He hit 16 points in like 54 seconds going against off. Jefferson. He was going off. I think a good conversation, real quick, is the I think that Brown will be the most disrespected great once it's over. As he puts it down, you're already starting to see it happen. They're already trying to move him out the way. When you think about the Curry's and Giannis, people who will never accomplish, I really feel like Bron's going to be heavily disrespected when it's over. Like, we always remember Michael Jordan's Hall of Fame speech. I don't think anybody forget LeBron James' Hall of Fame speech because there's a set of people that fuck with Bron, but there's a lot more people that don't. Straight up. In the press and such and such, and Bron is about to break records and do it, I think he's really going to be slighted at the end. And that's going to be unfortunate because I'm pretty sure y'all remember that 2010 to 2015 range. If you was on Facebook, there's a lot of people who did not F with LeBron James. Is and I'm talking about equivalent you. to that I'm right about now? You. Is, that, is this somebody equivalent to that Nobody. right now? Nobody. And, and Katie is close. Nope. Nope. No. nope. They're giving him every pass because, because LeBron walked that trail nope. first. He getting every pass, nah, Katie. That, that's, no. Katie got a lot of haters, I'm bro. Give it to him. Katie got a lot of I'm going to give it to him because he's the only one that always talked about how KD used to always get a pass he over did. shit that LeBron did. And now we're seeing in the Live that that KD without the Warriors Ain't may shit. not have a ring to his name because he not winning one post Warriors unless he goes to a team uh, like the only way I felt like he would have got a ring is if they would have um, went to like Phoenix if they would have if they would have gave him his trade and he would have got traded to Phoenix yeah with Booker and Paul with them yes or Memphis. Hmm. Those are oh, the only two okay. teams that could have made him go because he needs he needs that. He never had been to that point where LeBron, uh, like Le, like LeBron, he could ever uh, just lead a team of pure will to win. I take it a step further. You talk about uh, damn, who was it, bro? It's it's uh, damn, it's another KD go all the way back to his career period. Texas mm-hmm. high school, like. You can look back at certain players' trajectory. They actually never got it done. And I don't mean no disrespect to them. But in Texas, he was the best player when he was at Texas. Mm-hmm. Period. Never. Then lost all of that, the, all of that to Ben round. Simmons. Hold on, round. but take that to Ben Simmons. Oh, he's. He, yeah, but Ben Simmons no, didn't even. But I'm, I mean, exactly. Not, but wait, what is ben he about Simmons. to be in the NBA? He's about to be a. What you just did with your hands? Like, oh, that's Ben Simmons. Yeah, that's Ben Simmons. He came in heavily hyped. Certain cats, Anthony Davis, I'm not surprised that his engine has done ran out. Because when he's at UT, when he's at Kentucky, one ring, one championship on the way out. One year. One championship on the way out, but he had a lot of talent around him. They don't talk about that with AD. AD had tons of talent at Kentucky with him. It was just AD. Yeah. AD is a beneficiary of being seven foot and being in a crowd of talented people. And he does his job the best at that point in time. And when they won in the bubble, go ahead. He did did his best Mm -hmm. job at that time with Brian. I say this, though, about AD, because he wasn't always seven foot. He had the freakish growth spurt ever. He went yeah, he from was like 6'2", two, two right? to 6'10", yes. and in literally a summer like, or some shit oh, like that. Oh, uh, winter break. Yeah, okay, okay. And so even so, he was learning his body, and he learned it in route to that national championship because he only averaged like twelve points per game, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of blocks. I think he had a lot of blocks. Like, he was defensive going. all around. Hundred you know percent. Hundred percent. And so he learned his body. He and when he came into the league, he was learning his body and learning the game and the new because uh, he played a point guard for the longest. And then when he learned his body, he had to become a big. Yeah. And so then he got that weight on him. 
But then when he put that weight on, it that. messed him up yeah. because that was the same thing with Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady started putting all that weight on, but it was up top and it his legs started failing him. Mm-hmm. So AD kind of, what is it? Uh, Opposite of that. Disproportionate. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah. Disproportionate. 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 Whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't know what though. he was trying yeah, to say. I'm with you, KC. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's what I'm saying. I AD, was stumped. AD <laughs> was really... Like like that child prodigy that just popped up, yeah. and then his body started betraying him. Yeah. So when people talk about him on all these injuries, they don't kind of equate to the fact that this man was not 6'10 all his life. Straight up. But you know they don't care about that, KC. They don't care and, about and you went to a smaller school and played, so you already know. When we hustling, I, I played at Christian school too. I ain't never shared that with you, but mm-hmm. I played at D D1 Christian school. They don't care about certain shit in that level. So I can only imagine at the NBA level what they care about. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I feel you, AD, but right now, nigga, you seven foot. Seven foot. And right now, we need you to use all that seven foot what we can, and we can't get nothing from it. We gotta get you up out of here. But to the Lakers, all that shit about Russ, not only he is their best player right now, mm-hmm. all that he can't shoot, the highest three-point percentage on the team. Really? Yeah, he yes. does. He does right That's now. Great. Right now, he like, does. A career high, 37% right now. It was 47% a few games and ago. So, mm. And so now... What's your scapegoat? We two and ten, and I, that's what I was waiting on. If Russ the best player on your team, your team there's, ain't winning. There's several scapegoats. Oh, it's nah, still, it's, it's still, it's still, ah, no, that's the truth. That's the truth. Oh, no. hey, no, that's that's I'm not saying that. You just said it. I'm saying, that. I'm saying if he's the best, that's a fact. If he's that's the best player on your team, he he was the best player on the Wizards. But you're not winning. Got to the playoffs. But you're not winning. They got to the playoffs. What's winning to you, KC? But playoffs is one thing. What's winning to you? You're not winning. Yeah, you're not winning. Yeah, you don't understand that. But they they're not even they're not even she in gotta the give him some room when the nigga start do doing that. He needs relevant. that room. Yeah. They suck. Like oh they suck. Look, yeah. all right. So I, I think they go. hyping him for the trade. Just in, for my, me and Chloe, I think they trade, hyping Russ. They, they trade him because I don't. The Lakers cannot afford to lose this season. I agree. Because the New Orleans they Pelicans, no choice. the New Orleans Pelicans, Pelicans don't get their first pick. round pick though. They yeah. gotta play good. They, they don't get that pick. But okay. So before we wrap, I want to go around the room. Do the Lakers make the playoffs? Shit. I'm gonna come back. Okay. I Do they make the playoffs? Let's bet. I'm gonna say yes based on the fact that <laughs> I know you get it. Nigga, no, no. caveat. Nah, the, if I know the Lakers, I know Genie Bus, I know they about to make some moves. So the current Lakers, I don't believe I think they can make a playoff run. You know if, him? Nah, 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 I don't oh. know Genie Bus. I'm just saying we all know the Bus Their family history in the sense of the Lakers, of what yeah. they're capable of. But just in the sense of like, nah, nah, if if you know they track history, you know they're not finna they they in the war room right now with yeah. names on the board. Who can mm-hmm. we get? What can we do? Who do we love? Who do we not care about? They trying to figure it out as we speak. They not going. They yeah. not going for it. Yeah. So based on you. that, I'm gonna say I can't bet against the Lakers. That's like betting against the Patriots. Why would I do that? Okay, they make the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, you know, all right, no champ. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say low. I'm gonna say yeah, man. I'm gonna be. I, I'm. I stick with my squads. I roll with my family, whether it's real or not. I'm gonna stick with my family. So, all right, yeah, Don, what go, you yeah. got? Nah, they gonna make it. Man. Playing, he said, baby. nah, they not gonna make it. No, nah, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 Anybody would say fuck no, <laughs> man. That's episode two twenty. What's your answer? Two and ten. Yeah, we we didn't get a Dave Chappelle monologue. Nah, we got to we got to wrap it. We got to wrap two it. Two and ten. Mm. Y'all got people no. coming at five thirty. Yeah, we do. We do. Let's get just low. in case we don't know yet. Facts. Hell no. Damn. No. Okay. I'm sorry, Bola. Damn. My dog. But they suck. I'm sorry, Tati. You're my ace. Yeah. But they suck. No. Okay, if there's any um, women who want to be kept on a McDonald's budget, <laughs> I got you. At, at, at LeBron Palmer. At, um, two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, uh, exactly. sesame seed bun. I got you. See what Jeannie Bust is doing is start putting like the. And that's episode 220. <laughs> we out. <laughs>